This is a very physically fit and very active 46-year-old gentleman with many years of clicking, locking, and pain in the right elbow. He is also unable to fully straighten or fully bend the elbow. And x-rays in the office show the loose bodies and bone spurs, uh, characteristic of osteoarthritis. A CAT scan confirms the bone spurs in the front and the back of the joint, as indicated here. In addition, another cut shows a bone spur which impinges on the radial head coming off of the posterior capitellum. These can easily be removed by elbow arthroscopy, and the setup for an arthroscopy is shown here, with the patient lying on the side and the right arm up. This is the front half of the joint, which is first entered, and you can see the synovitis, which is all of the loose uh, frond-like tissue in the front half of the joint, indicating chronic inflammation. The radial head is shown here, the coronoid process and the coronoid fossa osteophyte are all indicated. And the loose body, which is shown in the top of the joint here, uh, is easily removed with a grasper. It's easy and uh, important to remove the loose bodies because this both takes care of the patient's symptoms as well as allows the case to proceed because it allows us to actually see the rest of the joint without these things floating around. A burr is then brought into the joint to restore the concave uh, surface of the front of the humerus. In this case, the bone spurs from the radial fossa are the ones being removed to uh, prevent impingement on the radial head as the patient flexes the elbow. The metallic instrument to the top of the screen is a retractor which holds the joint capsule and the overlying radial nerve away from the power burr to keep it out of harm's way. It also allows the surgery to be performed under low arthroscopic pump pressure, which is why you can see some blood coming from the cancellous bone that's being exposed by the burr. <clears throat> Here you see another loose body drifting into view and easily removed with the grasper. This is the final result in the anterior lateral joint, showing extensive room for the patient to flex. The portals are switched and the medial joint is now viewed. The shaver is used to clean out of the soft tissue and you can see the bone spur in the top left and the loose body in the bottom right. And this is removed easily with a grasper. Once that's done, the burr is brought back into the joint and this is used to remove the coronoid fossa osteophyte, which you saw there. The coronoid tip is the structure to the right of the screen and this has to be burred down as well to prevent impingement when the patient flexes. Once that is performed, then all obstacles to the patient's flexion have now been taken care of. The back half of the joint is now entered and in this case you can see the posterior medial gutter uh, and this is oftentimes a place where loose bodies can reside so it is important to look in there. The olecranon fossa is seen here, although it's a little bit hard to see with all of the bone spurs in the way, so these have to be removed. You can see one being disimpacted with a freer and removed with a grasper right here. Once that's been done, you can start to see some of the anatomy of the olecranon fossa. The floor of the fossa is indicated here, and the olecranon tip and the olecranon uh, fossa osteophytes are seen here. These have to be removed to prevent the impingement that occurs when the patient extends the elbow, as you can see here. An osteotome is a very simple way to remove the olecranon tip osteophytes. And with several gentle hits with the mallet, uh, it's easy to disimpact this olecranon tip osteophyte. And you can see it coming loose and getting knocked uh, free from the olecranon tip right here. A grasper is then brought into the joint and this allows easy removal of the olecranon tip osteophyte. You can see that rim of bone above that grasper and that's the olecranon fossa osteophyte which again will need to be removed and in this case it's being done with a burr. This is the posterior lateral gutter of the elbow and you can see several loose bodies residing here. It's really quite amazing how many loose bodies this patient had in his joint. This one is a rather large and impressive osteophyte Sometimes an extra large incision needs to be made in order to deliver this kind of a uh, loose body. Uh, in this case, with a little bit of a twist and a firm pull, this was removed. Once it's removed, you can now see the radial head, which is behind it. That's the disc-like structure in the distance, which you see rotating. The portals are now switched. The camera is brought into the direct lateral portal, and you can see the ulnohumeral joint 
as well as the posterior capitellum osteophyte that was seen on the CT scan. That will need to be burred down to prevent the impingement you see here when the patient tries to extend. And once that's been done, the operation is complete. These are x-rays of a different patient who was treated with a similar uh, operation, and you can see the significant clean-out of the joint seen pre- and post-op. Thank you for your interest. To learn more about elbow arthroscopy and my practice, visit my website, nwoa.com.